Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. I've got a question for you. How noisy is your studio? Well, I'm going to show you an effect that can tell you exactly how noisy your studio is. Have a listen to this. I've deliberately done a voiceover. This is... And I've left gaps. Now, where the gaps are, you'll hear nothing but my studio noise. Of course, you can't hear anything much at the moment. But I'm going to show you something really cool you can do when you go into amplitude and compression. Dynamics processing. Now, usually you'd use a dynamics processor to beef up your voice and make it sound bigger and crush it down as well so there's not so much dynamic range. I'm going to use the dynamics processor to do exactly the inverse, and I'll show you how to do it too, by turning that all around, amplifying quiet spots and crushing down and eliminating noisy spots. So what it will do is completely get rid of my voiceover and it will enhance the gaps. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, take this graph, which is the standard dynamics processing graph in Adobe Audition, and turn it upside down like this. You see? And now I'm going to leave it about there. This will do nothing if it's straight down the middle. So if I take it up to about there, you're going to hear an effect. Now, let me get out of that and apply the effect. And you'll suddenly see that my voiceovers have disappeared. And in between, you can hear my studio noise. Take a listen. And also some rather unpleasant mouth clicks in there as well to eliminate. So there you go. If you've ever wondered how noisy your studio is and how much you click when you're speaking, then apply that effect now. If you'd like to get Adobe Audition or learn more about Adobe Audition, click the links below this video. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.